Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Unhitched female Gentran opened up and uncovered her disappointment with Aaron Herb. He was confronted with an important choice only half a month into the excursion with Jen. He needed to pass on recording to seek after his opportunity to turn into a military pilot or remain an attempt to prevail upon Jen. Eventually, he decided to pursue his fantasy about being a pilot. He left and presently she is spilling some tea about how she feels about it and furthermore what her greatest disappointment was about him. Continue to Paris to figure out more. Jen Tran uncovers genuine sentiments about Aaron Herb. Single girl Jen Tran is opening up and sharing how she had an outlook on Aaron Herb suddenly leaving the show. Subsequent to thoroughly considering things he chose to pass on to seek after his fantasy about being an aviation-based armed forces military pilot. Jen acknowledged his choice and hoped everything would work out for him. Could it be said that she was truly frantic or agitated about him leaving? The single girl showed up on the Lone Ranger party time with Joa Mabel and Serena Pitt. They conversed with her about Aaron leaving. Jen uncovered that she found a sense of contentment with him leaving her excursion. She said, I needed to see where things were going however in my mind by then. I had a few truly impressive associations with different folks. So I wasn't really devastated that Aaron was leaving. I was really truly glad for him to get this open door that he's been needing for such a long time. Joa Mabel and Serena Pe asked Jen Tran how she truly had an outlook on Aaron Herb dropping the stunner that a portion of the men were not there for the right reasons. She said she was exceptionally furious when he dropped that data. Jen proceeded to say that Aaron wouldn't share what its identity was and that made her angrier. He told her he confided in her to go with the best choices. She said, I feel like him dropping that bomb was a little self-centered as it were. In the event that you will drop that bomb, drop every one of the bombs and let me know what its identity is. Stay with your stomach with it, yet he didn't and that exasperated me. Not really that I would have believed who he would have expressed in light of the fact that by then I believed myself more than this person who I had just known for two or three weeks. It was only an irritating circumstance to need to manage. Jen likewise uncovered who she thinks Aaron was really discussing. She let Serena and Joe know that she accepted Aaron was discussing Devin. She said she wished he would have let it out in light of the fact that she's not visually impaired. Jen likewise shared she hated his pearl accessory. What is your take on Jen being disappointed with Aaron for not telling her who was there for some unacceptable reasons? Lone Wolfess Jen Tran has an important choice to make come Monday night. At the point when the show last finished, Jen's ex, Matt Rossi, had quite recently moved toward her. She was staggered when he told her he needed to get her covered and that he was infatuated with her. Since fans will be seeing a greater amount of Matt on Monday, here is all that to realize about the ex who zoomed all over the planet to communicate his affections for Jen. Continue to Paris to figure out more. All that to be aware of Jen Tran's ex Matt Rossi. Most importantly, Matt Rossi is a canine individual. He frequently posts about his Dashun named Kirkland. Indeed, his canine was really named after Costco sausages. Kirkland is delightful and fans can follow him on Instagram. Before, Jen shared a TikTok about Matt where she alluded to him as Weiner Kid. He uncovered that he met Jen on Pivot, which is a dating application. Lone Rangeress Jen Tran has a critical choice to make come Monday night. At the point when the show last finished, Jen's ex, Matt Rossi, had recently moved toward her. She was dazed when he told her he needed to get her covered and that he was infatuated with her. Since fans will be seeing a greater amount of Matt on Monday, here is all that to realize about the ex who zoomed all over the planet to communicate his affections for Jen. 
continue to Paris to figure out more. All that to be familiar with Gen Trans X Matt Rossi. Matt Rossi, most importantly, is a canine individual. He frequently posts about his Dachshund named Kirkland. Indeed, his canine was really named after Costco's Franks. Kirkland is charming and fans can follow him on Instagram. Before, Jen shared a TikTok about Matt where she alluded to him as Weiner Kid. He uncovered that he met Jen on Pivot, which is a dating app. Producers really shared on the season that Matt is 27 and sells protection in Atlanta. This isn't accurate. Matt adjusted everybody and said, protection leader from Atlanta is wild when I sell brew in Boston. Furthermore, he's 28. It's likewise essential to take note of that the harmful sweetheart she used to have around quite a while back isn't Matt. He does exercise and loves to run. Matt likewise as of now has a genuinely decent fan base via virtual entertainment. Many think he just came on the single girl for clout instead of for Jen Tran. What do you think? Jen Tran showed up on the Lone Wolf Party Time digital recording where she shared more insights regarding her previous relationship with Matt Rossi. Jen said, we had dated when I lived in Boston around a long time back. We met on Pivot, and we dated for around 90 days-ish solely. It was simply me and him, and we were P.U. and sweetheart. Then circumstances didn't actually pan out. We were truly youthful and that exemplary circumstance. Then at that point, a couple of months had passed, and we sort of got together again for a smidgen, and I concluded that this wasn't it. When they at last quit dating, they kept on staying in contact. They remained companions and surprisingly hung out after Jen showed up on Joey Graziade's time of the unhitched mail. Jen even shared that they know one another's families. She says she was stunned when he made an appearance to say he was enamored with her. What is your take on Matt Rossi returning to attempt to win Jen back? Remain tuned for additional updates. He revealed that he met Jen on Hinge, which is a dating app. Producers actually shared on the season that Matt is 27 and sells insurance in Atlanta. This is not true. Matt corrected everyone and said, insurance executive from Atlanta is wild when I sell beer in Boston. Plus he's 28. It's also important to note that the toxic boyfriend she used to have roughly three years ago is not Matt. He does work out and loves to run. Matt also already has a fairly good fan base on social media. Many think he only came on The Bachelorette for clout rather than for Jen Tran. What do you think? Jen Tran appeared on The Bachelor Happy Hour podcast where she shared more details about her past relationship with Matt Rossi. Jen said, We had dated when I lived in Boston about three years ago. We met on Hinge and we dated for about three months-ish exclusively. It was just me and him, and we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Then things didn't really work out. We were really young, and that classic situation. Then a few months had passed, and we kind of got together again for a little bit, and I decided that this wasn't it. Once they finally stopped dating, they did continue to keep in touch. They remained friends and even hung out after Jen appeared on Joey Graziade's season of The Bachelor. Jen even shared that they know each other's families. She says she was shocked when he showed up to say he was in love with her. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.